Hello Leo, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse, welcome to my channel and welcome to your energy reading. I'll be taking a look at your past, your present and your future in reference to any energies that may be surrounding you at this time. I want to apologize, I haven't been on here in over a week. I have been under the weather, you can still hear it in my voice. However, I felt like I needed to come on today to provide you with a reading I want to thank you for your patience. Thank you if you are returning. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share this video, and hit the like button. I want to remind you that not every Leo will identify with this message. These are general messages. For a private reading with me, you can book that through the description box below. Okay, so all you have to do is hit the link and you will be shown many options that you can choose from. All right, if you want to follow me on Instagram or on TikTok, all of that info is also below. All right, let's get right into it. Spirit, please provide me with messages for Leo. What is Leo going through in reference to, okay, you have messages coming right out. Please speak to me in reference to Leo. These messages are from Leo. These messages are for Leo. This is for Leo. bottom of the deck we have air energy okay seven of swords someone is being deceptive around you and you know it there's an energy that you can't trust around you okay if you are hearing this for the first time and you're unaware of an energy that is deceptive then I want you to take a closer look at the people who come in your house the people that are around you um, pay attention to your social media, pay attention to uh, where your kids go, where they're staying. Um, the traffic is what I'm seeing, okay? The traffic in your house, pay attention to the traffic, the cars, okay? There's a deceptive energy and you know it. There's something that you're uncomfortable with. So tap into that, all right? Oftentimes we have a certain feeling about something or someone and we ignore it okay you are being told to and called to take a closer look at that insecurity that thing that you keep thinking about there's something you know that you can't trust leo and you are extremely right about that okay there's no doubt about that there's something or someone that you're iffy about Okay, this could be an acquaintance, this could be a friend of yours, this could be someone who you thought was your friend, this could be a family member, you know, sometimes it's the closest people around us that are the ones who are being deceptive. So I want you to keep that in mind, but there is an energy here of someone that you can't trust. Okay, so we're going to look further into this. In the past position, you feel stuck here and there's an imbalance here. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? You don't necessarily have to be dealing with one, but um, there's an energy of feeling stuck and knowing that you have to make a certain decision and you haven't made it yet. I think that a lot of people have been telling you, come on, come on. You have to decide to do this. You have to do it now. And you have been hesitant. That's what I'm hearing, Leo. I'm, I'm really hearing people chanting to you, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so there's something that you have to make a move on. There's something that you need to do or there's 
or some of you want to move or you need to move or somebody somebody is like calling for you okay that's the energy that i get in the past position but we're going to clarify in the present moment something has you just disappointed with your head down here we have aries energy present with the emperor and just something that you're just not ready to close Okay, this is a chapter you're not ready to close in your life. Um, you refuse to let it go. So I think that whatever it is that people are asking you to do, you're just not ready to do it, okay? Um, and you have your reservations on that. You have your reasons as to why you don't want to do it, okay? So if this has to do with a relationship, then you're not ready to let it go and people are saying that you probably need to or... Um, if this is in reference to a job, then, you know, um, you, you feel like you're not ready to leave, but you don't, you, you feel like you're being treated unfairly perhaps by, you know, not everyone at your job, but it could be one person. Um, people are trying to motivate you, but there's something that has you stagnant. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in the future, you have a plan that's taking place. So there's some sort of plan that you have here for balance and for things to get better. But you're going to have to become aware of that deceptive energy, okay? There's someone around you, the energy that I get, where like someone's not telling you the truth about something. Or, you know, you have to be more observant of certain people who are around you when they come around you. Something that has to do with cars. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm being told to tell you, okay? Let's clarify. In the past position, let's clarify why you feel stuck here with sword energy. I have Sagittarius energy, I have Cancer energy, and I have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So let's see why you're stuck here in the past. Please speak to me in reference to Leo. Please speak to me in reference to Leo. Okay. One more card. Please talk to me in reference to Leo. I was stuck here in the past. Okay. So... Again, just, I feel like unfinished business, okay? I feel like there's unfinished business in a certain area. And I feel like you're unhappy about that unfinished business. There's something that you left unfinished. Okay, and that is what has your energy a little bit disturbed. Now, something is unfinished. Okay, so you take that the way that it identifies with you, but that's the energy that I'm getting here. Okay, and you're very protective over whatever this is because the high priestess is here. Okay, and you're trying to be strong about it, but there's something unfinished here that is disturbing you. In the present moment, you're disappointed about something with the Five of Cups. We have the Emperor here, Aries energy, and then the World card in reverse. So you didn't want something to end. Um, you're not ready for it to end. Um, or you're just not ready to close this chapter of your life out yet. I feel like people are like telling you to do something and you are resisting. Okay, but um, you know, this will identify with you in whichever way that that does, okay? Um, I want to know what it is that people are, are you know, it's like they're pushing you or they, they keep trying to convince you to do something and you're just like, you're not ready for it. So let's see what this is all about. What are these people wanting you to do so bad? With this emperor card, please speak to me about what that is. 
the Emperor card here. Please talk to me about what that is. What are these people trying to get you to do so bad? It's like they want you to come together with somebody that you don't want to come together with. Somebody wants you to like either squash some sort of beef or there could be a family member you're not talking to or someone that you feel betrayed you in some way or there's somebody that wants to come back together with you and you are resistant to that for some reason. Let's get one more card. Why is Leo resistant to this Three of Cups? Why is Leo resistant to the Three of Cups, please? Why is Leo resistant to the Three of Cups? Why is Leo resistant here? You're resistant to it because... I think it has to do with money. It could have something to do with some sort of investment or money. Okay. Either somebody took money here. Okay. Um, and you're just not happy about the investment or somebody, did, they didn't invest enough here. Okay. Could be two females involved here in the situation. In the future... There's a plan that you have, okay? Um, there's some sort of balance here and a reconciliation. I don't know if it's with this person, okay? But I have Earth Energy here, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, and then I have the Lover's card. Let's clarify this Earth Energy for you. Please speak to me in reference to Earth Energy. For Leo, please clarify this earth energy for Leo. Please clarify earth. Yeah, you're deciding to cut somebody out. There's somebody you don't trust. Give me one more card here. You don't trust this king of cups. Somebody is bragging and somebody's acting a certain way. There's like this bragging behavior. You don't like it and it's unattractive to you. There's too much bragging about someone who it's it's almost like they don't deserve to be bragging is the energy that I get. Okay, let's get one more card on this King of Cups. Please speak to me in reference to the King of Cups. Let me reference to King of Cups here. We have Taurus Energy, the Hierophant. So I feel like there's someone who feels like they deserve a higher level or more of a respect from you. And, and you're challenging this person. You're saying no. I don't need to do that, and this is why, and, and you're, you're committed to the choice that you made. Okay, so somebody is wanting you to bow down to them, and you're not going to, is the energy that I'm getting Taurus, okay? And look at I said Taurus. <laughs> Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, but this is the Taurus card, which is why I said Taurus Leo, okay? Um, you're not going to bow down to this person. That's the energy that I get. So that's what I have for you, Leo, if you're interested in understanding more about this energy that I'm picking up on, or if you want a private session with me, just book your reading with me in the description box below. Thank you so much and take care.